I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on logarithmic functions. We need to find the x-intercept of a logarithmic function. So what is x-intercept? At x-intercept y is equal to 0. So that is the base for us to find out. So we have given three different uh, logarithmic functions here. We need to find each x-intercept. So I can write their value as equal to 0 and find what value of x will give, make this function 0. So let's begin with the very first one. It is log and the base is 10, right? 2x plus 3. That should be equal to 0. The second one, let me write the third one first. Log to the base 2 of x squared equals to 0. And I want to change the ink to write the number in the middle, which is ln. And we want to write this as equals to 0. So we basically get three equations to solve when we are trying to find the x-intercepts. Now let us solve them one by one. When I say log to the base 10 of 2x plus 3 equals to 0, that means what? That means 2x plus 3 equals to 10 to the power of 0, right? Convert that to exponential form, right? So from here you know 2x plus 3 should be equals to 10 to the power of 0 is 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. Now you can solve for x. So we say 2x equals to minus, I mean, I should write 1 minus 3, and which is equals to minus 2. And x is equals to minus 2 divided by 2, which is minus 1, right? So x is equals to minus 1 is the answer. Now we, if I substitute minus 1 here, what do I get? Let us substitute. So we get log of 2 times minus 1 plus 3 and that is log of minus 2 plus 3 log of 1. So basically you know log of 1 is indeed equal to 0. right? So if we make this 1 then also our problem is solved. So that's kind of a shortcut method which I will like to use now. right? So here I will not go through this lengthy process. You could go, you could say x minus 3 equals to e to the power of 0. ln is to the base e which is 1 and so we get x equals to 1 plus 3 or 4, right? So that is correct answer, right? The other way could be uh, we know ln of we know ln of 1 is 0 and therefore we can say x minus 3 equals to 1 and we say x equals to 1 plus 3 and we get that equals to 4. So we get the same answer. Do you get the idea? So that is what I like about logarithms. There are different ways of doing it. So in this question, I will not follow this method. You are not sure. We want to just make this as 1, right? To get our solution. Is that okay? It doesn't really matter in this case what is the base. Since 2 to the power of 0, 3 to the power of 0, n to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is just 1. Correct. So let's solve for it. So we will say x square equals to 1 provides us the solution for x intercept. Perfect. Now what values? So in this case we get plus minus square root of 1 and that is plus minus 1. So for two values of x this function is is having x intercepts. That's interesting. Now if you really sketch this function it's a very interesting function you should sketch and figure it out then you'll get this is e1 right so you get kind of like this symmetric 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 like this right so these are the two intercepts we're talking about and these are going to be at plus one and minus one right so that is how it is going to be right so this is log two of x square perfect so approximate drawing i hope this helps you to understand the concept of how to find x intercept for logarithmic functions. Thank you and all the best.